Who is Chris Bumstead? He's three-time Mr. Olympia champion with a whopping 12 million followers on Instagram. And by the time you're watching this video, he could be a four-time champ. And today, we're gonna see if we can survive his leg workout. Okay, so the overall warm-up of today's workout, and this is based off of Chris Bumstead's last workout before the Olympia, is that we're kind of bouncing between the leg extension, the hamstring curl, and then the adductors as well. We're doing around three to four warm-up sets here, relatively one to two working sets, getting some blood flow in these legs. It's very important to get some blood flow into the legs before you go into the actual like compound movements of the day. While Chris is doing this during his actual peak week, the most important thing during that time is to just definitely not get injured. So whether it's peak week or not, the most important thing, obviously, besides progressive overload and getting stronger, is to just definitely not get injured during your workouts. Don't just go into your workout without a warm up. Train smarter and harder. Alrighty, so after the warm up, we're on to the actual compound movements. And the first thing is a hack squat. Now, if your gym is like my gym and it doesn't have a hack squat, what I've done is I've gotten some blocks. You could also use a plate if you wanted to, but I recommend getting something that's actually pretty like sturdy in the ground. That plate can be a little too makeshifty. Is that a word, makeshifty? Anyways, the hack squat's primarily a more quad bias movement. So that's what we're doing here with these blocks, elevating our heels, focusing more on the quads. So in two to three working sets here, rep range is between like 12 to 15 reps. Next thing is next is the leg press. We're going two to three working sets here. Push it relatively between like 10 to 15 reps or kind of somewhere close to failure. Again, this is during Chris Bumstead's peak week, so we're not trying to absolutely kill the muscle because we don't want to get injured. The goal is to come in here and get an effective workout and stay safe while doing it. What's next on the menu is Bulgarian split squats. Now, something that I see Seabum doing that I often do with these Bulgarian split squats is that I'll go into a like 10 to 15 rep range, drop the dumbbells, and then pump out some more with body weight, just a way to train to failure and beyond failure in a very kind of safe way, just to try and get a little bit more out of the muscle and the movement. Same thing, two to three sets, relatively 10 to 15 reps. These are brutal. All right, last exercise for the day, seated hamstring curl, abductors, and then a standing single leg hamstring curl. Two to three working sets here. 10 to 15 rep range, really just kind of get some extra blood flow in these legs, and we just put the icing on the cake for the leg day. Alrighty, so Chris Bum's last workout of the day for this exercise was like the standing hamstring curl. If you don't have the specific machine that he had in his leg day video, you can obviously use a leg extension. 
face the opposite way. You can do a standing hamstring curl variation on this machine. I would say it works around like 70% to 80% as effective as the actual machine. So you wanna mix it up with the hamstrings, take this a shot. Whew, alrighty, that wraps up today's leg day. We'll work out in the description down below if you guys wanna try it out. Wishing Chris Bumstead good luck in this year's Olympia. Wrap the video up here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. It's been your boy Joe. Peace.